hi dear students in this video i am going to talk about kolrash law and its two important applications this topic is from the chapter electrochemistry kolrash law at infinite dilution infinite dilution where all the electrolytes all the electrolytes in the sense weak and strong electrolytes undergo 100% ionization 100% ionization each ion will migrate each ion will migrate independently independent independent of its co ion each ion will migrate independent of its its co ion the molar conductivity molar conductivity of the electrolytic solution electrolytic solution is the sum of is the sum of its ionic conductivities ionic conductivities students for example this we can indicate it as lambda m infinite for the electrolyte is we can represent it as n plus number of cations present in this solution the conductivity of cations plus n minus number of anions present in that and conductivity of anions like that we can indicate students kolrash law it is at infinite dilution infinite dilution in the means infinite is not a number it is a concept where adequate amount of water is present in the electrolyte more dilution right at this condition each ion is free to move of in its co ion because there is a maximum distance between the ions in the solution at infinite dilution where all the electrolytes undergo complete ionization 100% ionization each ion if it is a strong or weak electrolyte all the electrolytes will undergo complete ionization each ion will migrate independent of its co ion if you take a cation it is independent of the anions because there is a maximum distance because adequate amount of water is present at this condition minus plus minus plus like this ions are present in the electrolytic solution when there is a maximum distance influence of one ion on its counter ion is less then each ion will is free to move in the solution at that condition molar conductivity of the electrolyte electrolytic solution is equal to sum of the ionic conductivities students for example we can write this in the equation form as lambda m not is equal to n plus indicates number of cations multiplied by this ionic conductivity of cation plus n minus number of anions multiplied by ionic conductivity of the anions similarly if it is for the cacl2 student cacl2 then we can write it as number of a ca2 plus ions only one so that is ionic conductivity of ca2 plus ion plus it is producing two cl minus ions two into ionic conductivity of cl minus this is known as kolrash law kol rash law of independent migration of ions completely it is called as kol rash law of independent migration of ions so now let us discuss the two important applications of the kol rash law 
स्टूडेंट्स अप्लीकेशन ऑफ कोलराश ला अप्लीकेशन ऑफ कोलराश ला कोलराश ला विल डिस्कस मेनली टू अप्लीकेशन इन दिस पार्ट फर्स्ट अप्लीकेशन इज calculating the molar conductivity molar conductivity at infinite dilution at infinite dilution for weak electrolytes for weak electrolytes weak electrolytes this is a first application let us discuss the steps involved in this students earlier we have seen that if the concentration is decreasing dilution is increasing then molar conductivity for the strong electrolytes will change as linearly so if you want to calculate lambda m infinite that is molar conductivity at infinite dilution for the strong electrolyte we can measure we can calculate by the graphical method by extrapolation of the graph but for the weak electrolytes which cannot be measured by using graphical method because the graph it is coming like this square root of c versus lambda m when we are drawing a graph for the weak electrolyte with the decrease in the concentration with the increase in the dilution lambda m increases but it is sharply increasing so if you want to calculate lambda m infinite for the weak electrolyte we want to if you extrapolate this graph it won't cuts the y axis so lambda m infinite for the weak electrolytes cannot be calculated from the graphical method but which can be calculated by using a kolrash law one of the application of the kolrash law is right so step 1 is take any three strong electrolytes three strong electrolytes such that such that there sum or difference difference of ionic conductivities ionic conductivities is equal to sum of the ionic conductivities sum of the ionic conductivities of weak electrolyte weak electrolyte students we have to choose we have to take any three strong electrolyte such that their sum or difference of ionic conductivity is equal to sum of the ionic conductivities of the weak electrolyte lambda m infinite for three strong electrolytes three strong electrolytes can be calculated can be calculated from graphical method by extrapolating the graph graphical method which we have already discussed square root of c versus lambda graph for the strong electrolytes this is a straight line we'll get right so lambda m infinite we can calculate by extrapolating the graph this y intercept length is that is known as molar conductivity at infinite dilution for the strong electrolytes we can calculate this value from the graphical method by extrapolation of the graph but for the weak electrolytes we should use a kolrash law right so for example if you need to calculate lambda m infinite for the acetic acid CH3COOH students so this we can write as sum of the ionic conductivities of the acetate ion plus H plus ion H plus ion then we need to choose 
we need to take any three strong electrolytes such that the sum difference of the ionic conductivities is equal to sum of the ionic conductivities of the acetic acid right so students we will take for this lambda m infinite of sodium acetate all salts are considered as a strong electrolytes plus lambda m infinite of hcl minus lambda m infinite of the nacl nacl students so, here this is we can write uh, this lambda m infinite for the sodium acetate as lambda ch3 coo minus sum of the ionic conductivities lambda na plus we can write for the hcl lambda h plus plus lambda cl minus we can write minus sign it is here minus lambda na plus minus lambda cl minus lambda na plus minus lambda na plus gets cancelled so lambda cl minus minus lambda cl minus gets cancelled remaining terms are sum of the ionic conductivities of the acetic acid that is acetate ion is remained and h plus is remained so by using this method we can easily calculate the lambda m infinite for the given weak electrolyte students now let us discuss about the second application students second application is calculating degree of dissociation degree of dissociation degree of dissociation which is indicated with the alpha degree of dissociation indicated with the alpha alpha is equal to lambda m c that means molar conductivity at a certain concentration given concentration divided by molar conductivity at infinite dilution is equal to which is same as lambda m eq at a certain concentration divided by lambda eq at a infinite dilution students for the ionization constant for the ionization constant for a weak acid we can calculate from this formula k is equal to c alpha square by 1 minus alpha by substituting these values here we will get right and one more important term in this is transportation number Trans transportation number the current carried by cation cations or anions that is called as transportation number transportation number students for example the transportation number for the cation we can write it as transportation number for the cation we can write it as n plus is equal to current carried current carried by cation plus total current carried total current carried by both the ions current carried then similarly we can write Na minus is current carried by anion divided by total current carried so N minus plus N plus is equal to the transportation number sum of the transportation number for the cation and anion it is equal to 1 so students let us take one or two questions based on the Kohlrausch law now dear students let us take uh, two questions first question molar conductivity of weak acid HA it is not any acid general acid they have given HA formula at uh, infinite dilution is 345 345.8 semen centimeter square per mole calculate molar conductivity of 0.05 molar 
HA solution given that alpha is equal to 5.8 into 10 power minus 6. Students, here what is the values given? One is molar conductivity at infinite dilution. Lambda m infinite value is given. Lambda m infinite is equal to 345.8 semen centimeter square per mole. And concentration is given. Concentration is not useful here. Just they have given m is equal to 0 0.05 molar. And alpha is given as 5.8 into 10 power minus 6. Students, degree of dissociation alpha is equal to lambda m at a certain concentration divided by lambda m infinite. So, from this, this implies we need to calculate lambda m c is equal to transfer this term lambda m infinite to the opposite side of the equation. You will get alpha into lambda m infinite. These values are already given in the question. Let us substitute these values. Lambda m c is equal to that is molar conductivity at given concentration is equal to alpha values 5.8 into 10 power minus 6 into and lambda m infinite is given as 345.8 it is given right so by multiplying this we will get it as 0.002 semen centimeter square per mole semen centimeter square per mole there is no use of concentration in this question but they have given right let us see the next question Calculate molar conductivity of acetic acid which is a weak electrolyte. All the weak acids and the weak bases are weak electrolyte. At infinite dilution, if lambda m naught for NaCl, HCl and CH3COO Na are 126.45, 426.16 and 91, semen centimeter square per mole respectively it is given question right by using cold rush loss students we can write a lambda m infinite for the acetic acid is equal to lambda m infinite value of sodium acetate ch3 coo na plus lambda m infinite value for the hcl minus lambda m infinite for the NaCl, NaCl, right, by using cold rush law. So, let us substitute the values which is given, lambda m, cs 3 coo Na. So, last one they have given this, right, 91 plus for the HCl, HCl 426.16 minus NaCl 126.45. Let us do this. Calculation, right? 426.16 plus 91 is 6, 1, 6 plus 1 is 7, 9 plus 2 is 11, 517.16. Let us subtract this value 126.45 from this, right? Uh, 6 minus 5 is 1, 11 minus 4 is 7. Point here 6 minus 6 is 0, 11 minus 2 is 9, 4 minus 1 is 3, 390.71, 390.71 units are semen centimeter square per mole. Okay, students, this is a lambda m infinite for the acetic acid. Thanks for watching.